Hey, what's up guys? I think today we're going to be taking a look at the TC Electronics Stereo Chorus Plus Pitch Modulator and Flanger. It's a reissue of, I believe, to be the very first pedal that they ever created. I'm hoping this means that the integrated preamp <laughs> is coming soon. That's what I'm hoping this signifies. But back to this. As far as choruses go, I've tried a couple different choruses, um, mostly like MXR stuff. I tried the Grand Orbiter from our quicker devices and they were all a little too much, you know, a little too shimmery, a little too too much on the high end. I don't know if Eddie Van Halen ever used this or Zach Wilde, but it's kind of like that vibe. It's got that, I guess the brown sound you could say. The flange is really good in here. I don't really like the pitch modulator too much. Um, it's a really subtle, subtle chorus. Now quickly we're going to go over the control layouts and then we're going to check it out uh, through some playing. You have a speed, a width knob, and an intensity. So speed, width, intensity. You also have a mode switch, which goes from chorus, pitch, modulation, and flanger. An input gain, which is almost kind of like, like a boost. Like it's like it's boosting your signal, maybe adding in a little overdrive. So that's cool. I have it set up in mono. There's two outputs up here for mono stereo. An input, there's a power adapter input. A soft switch, which I really dig. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. I quickly here is the clean tone with uh, no chorus on. Probably should turn off the SD1 though first, right? Now here's the clean tone. All right, now let's turn the pedal on. Now if you notice, there's a flashing light so that tells you what kind of speed you have your chorus for flange at. And we get this. It's a very, like, really cool, just old classic vintage chorus sound. So let's go ahead and go with the speed knob. Turn it all the way up. All right, let's put it back about halfway. Now let's do the, uh, the width knob all the way up. Now let's go to the uh, intensity. Intensity all the way up. Bring up some of that input gain all the way up. 
Might be peeking on the door. I don't know. You also get a little light with that once you know if it's uh, overloading. Overloading the input. So we'll back that back off. We're going to get some dirty tones here in a minute. Let's take that setting that we have now. And go through the three modes. Like the, the pitch modulation is very subtle. To really hear it do much, you gotta really like crank the knobs. Let's go to the flange. That's a lot of flange. We're gonna dial the flange back a little bit. I typically set it back here because it's very subtle. Yeah, so now let's go ahead and check out some dirty tones. We are on the lead channel, dirty channel, whatever you want to call it, of the orange TH30, and we get this. So it really flanges quite well. Let's go back to the pitch modulator. It's very subtle. I hardly ever... Let's turn the intensity up. I just don't really ever hear much out of it. So let's take the, the width up. To get the pitch modulator, you really have to crank the knobs to really hear the effect. But it's really cool, like. Like we're back on the chorus setting. Let's just crank it all, all up. There we go. Full everything on the chorus. You can get that wobbly effect. Oh, I can't remember how to play that Black Sabbath, but. Started playing some Randy Rhodes Ozzy, but. Orchid, Black Sabbath, they all use this. You can kind of get it with that. That's really cool. So typically what I do is I set it like this, everything kind of roughly around halfway. Kick on some reverb, which we have going. And I'll put on the SD1. SD1 is on and I like to use this for leads. It's just... It's such a good, subtle chorus. Like, it's not overbearing. It could almost be not enough, but it adds just that right shimmer, that really biting high end to it to make it stand out. Mm. 
when you dial your volume knob back, you're right there, you're back in the 80s. And when you crank your volume knob up, Yeah, so if you're looking for a chorus pedal that's definitely going to nail the 80s sound, that's not like too out there, too atmospheric, too experimental, this is one for you to get because I don't really need a very out there experimental ambient type chorus. I just need a basic chorus to do what this does. Yeah, check them out. You can get them on Sweetwater. I think they're like 149 bucks. Don't buy them from the dude on Reverb trying to sell his for 200 because that's a dick move. I'll see you guys in the next video.